Hello, my name is Jimmy Brake. I'm the lead designer at DW Alliance. We're going to review how to configure the mobile version of your content management system. So here we're looking at the content management system. Um, it's a mobile view of it instead of an iPhone. And you can see there's a header. There is a link back to the top story. And there's a navigation bar that uh, you can see through the uh, articles or page through the article. And this comes always in a batch of five. This is a perfectly laid out um, screen. The five and just these two bars and this bar and then this leading into our categories is generally enough that people can just figure it out pretty fast. We don't want to make the screen too complex so they have to look for any more than just a few seconds to find anything because people's stickiness um, really relies on how easy the site is to use. So we kept it very, very simple. All right, so now I'm going to go through and show you how to configure this because you may want to take this top story place um, and put a banner where it says news. Maybe you want a banner up there for your company and maybe some advertising, right? Um, maybe you want to put some images on this navigation bar here to say these articles. And maybe you want to change up the colors and things like that for these categories. And maybe you want to do something else with the you know, colors and layout in general. Uh, and these things are all possible. We just laid this out and and to what we thought was the most efficient way for your clients to view your uh, content. <clears throat> okay, so let's go ahead and navigate this down. Now, what I've done is I've logged into the CRM and then I've navigated to, uh, to the uh, slash news slash mobile.php inside of a Firefox browser. And you should be able to use most browsers, but we definitely recommend Firefox um, just because it's the code for it since all of our clients are either using Windows, Macintosh, or Linux. And um, that's the only browser that's supported on all three of the top of there. All right, now inside of here, you can see the same layout. It's much wider now, though, because we're into a web page. Um, search button. But since we're logged in as a CRM, you can see we have those edit links, right? The bottom one goes to the header and footer, and the middle one goes to the one just for this page. Okay. Now this is the, the, the body of the page. You can see we have a header tag and we have a nav bar tag. And you should really look at the jQuery mobile um, CSS information to find out its capabilities. It's a very robust library. Um, it's not part of our support model to you know, tell you exactly how to use it. Um, we just can tell you that you, know, you should read up on this. Otherwise, you can just add in certain elements, and, and most of the time it will show up fine that we've seen. Um, but if you want to do more advanced things, have a look at the, the CSS for that. And you can do a lot more. All right, and you can see there's uh, top stories, right? Dynamic blog list out the lead article. The next block lists out the pages, and the next block lists out the categories. Uh, inside the header and footer is where the search engine stuff is located. But this is where you would, you know, this is where you're going to add in all of your banners and um, navigation, this sort of stuff. If you want to change up the colors and that sort of stuff, we would recommend doing that inside of the, the header and footer for the mobile version. Mobile version website, update. And you'd probably just put out you know, your own style sheet here. Just put it inside the head, um, and then it'll follow you all the way across the rest of the pages, which there are only one, two, three, four. There's only four pages that you have to, um, to think about really landing page, article page, category page, which looks just like the landing page pretty much, and then the search page, which also looks just like the landing page. Um, so very similar layouts. And we've kept it this way just so that your clients who are working on these very small devices stay very focused on getting to the content um, as fast as possible. And you know, you need to put your advertising and uh, that sort of thing inside there. Also, um, for your tracking, like Google Analytics or another service that you're using, just put that into the header and footer. It makes it simplest for you. And um, that's about it. I think that's, that's all we have right now. Um, if you have any questions, please contact us at support at dwalliance.com. Thanks.